I just don't understand the big balls. This is one of me balls. Somebody must have broken into me trunk and let all of me balls out. It's okay. Just fill up the space with balls. That's what I did with my heart. Anyone touched by this balls would be infected by supernatural rage. So? Whoever opened me trunk must have been powerful to get past the balls I placed on it. So? Welcome to the Nile Void. Hello, hi, hola, my name is Cap the Ghost Butt. So, back in 2006, someone at Cartoon Network got the bright idea to make a Billy and Mandy franchise into a video game. One that was either going to blow our socks off or... DESTROY US ALL! Judging by its Metacritic score of 69 out of 100, you could say that it... It's a game. Published by Midway, yes, that Midway, the old Mortal Kombat guys, and developed by High Voltage Software, the guys most known for, and I kid you not, LEGO Racers 1999 and Conduit 2009, that shooty sci-fi game with the motion controls. Take out the egg sacs. And they also did the Kids Next Door video game. Billy and Mandy the video game is kind of like trying to play Connect 4 naked in a swarm of bees while your opponent is twerking backwards in a mirror with her eyes closed. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Victory! Orange Team wins! Thank you all so much. I'd like to thank the Academy and my dear old dad and the forces of anarchy and destruction. All right, now the game's fine. It's like a simplified version of Power Stone or Smash Brothers, but without all the combos and tight controls and Solid Snake's sweet, sweet ass. So here's the story. Someone stole all of Grimm's mojo balls and anyone that touches him goes fucking nuts and starts beating the shit out of the nearest man, woman, and or an Ision victim. That's a pedal joke. Grim, Billy, and Mandy set out to beat the world back to normal one fist at a time. <laughs> It all turns out to be Billy's fault because of course it was. And for that, you get to beat his pink ass during the credits. That is some good ass physical abuse. Anyway, anyway, the gameplay is fun if you genuinely don't take any of it seriously. Because despite the controls being very simple, the act of actually doing them is the equivalency of trying to play the national anthem on a keyboard shaped like ass. It's squishy, but it also kind of stinks. Wash your ass! The problem is that the CPUs like to stunlock you every five minutes. This is one of those games where the first person to land a hit wins, cause there's no combo breaker or blocking or shielding. So, uh, get used to getting beat, launched, and killed in that order on loop. <laughs> There's a lot of cheap shots in this game. The fuck was that shit? What am I, living football? There's all kinds of items that do tons of damage, but if you get hit while holding the item, you drop it. If you do a little dash while holding the item, you drop it. Bomb, fire, throwable, rubber chicken, burger, cheese, biscuit, McDougal. If you're too close to another player while you use any of that stuff, it hits both of you. What? The actual fuck? The finishes are really fun though. If nothing else, I get a good kick out of seeing an old black disco vampire beating the shit out of a white woman goddess thing. That came out very wrong. <laughs> Ouch. 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 
Yeah. See ya! Saturday Night Fever, mother- The set pieces are nice, like this game is just, it's packed with references to the cartoon. Every single stage is like doing one of those Do You Know Billy and Mandy quizzes online. And there's also like multiple parts, like you'll start in one part of the stage and then you'll get, uh, I don't know, like a giant snake will come in through and flood the room and now you're in a different part of the stage. It's pretty cool. Scar, General Scar. Hey, check out the pyrotechnics. <laughs> you think this is pain? It is not. Oh, and the final boss is that iconic singing uh, brain alien thing, complete with the actual soundtrack from the episode. <laughs> And one more thing. This game has the actual voice cast from the cartoon, and they did a great vocal job here. I feel the need. The need for bleed. I don't like mixing business with pleasure, but I'm really going to enjoy this. I'm about ready to unload 1620s of damage on your butt! It's button mashing time. We'll have so much friendly fun. All I ever wanted was to be loved. <laughs> You're crazy! Wow! I sure am glad the school bus got away from the giant chicken and didn't blow up like the school bus in Horror Chicken 4! I thought for sure the fellas meant... Oh well, the chickens were a red herring, Mom. And we still need to find out who stole my mojo. I know who stole my mojo. Mandy, have you been infected as well? Uh, sure. Ooh, ooh, there's a mojo rage spread from person to person, tearing apart families and homes, overwhelming law enforcement and society, throwing the world into anarchy, creating a world of chaos. We're only the strongest survive, and in the end, only serving to show that we in fact are the true monsters. I was worried that other people may try to steal me stuff, but I suppose what you said could be a problem too. We should see if any fights have broken out of the pumpkin patch. Don't oh, wait! These aren't killer tomatoes at all! Pumpkins? Why'd it have to be pumpkins? You actually have to direct the player using your dialogue. So when you say things like, Take that! You know, or something like, um, You're just kind of doing sound effects. Dying is easy. Winning is hard. So I love screaming and falling into pits and dying and punching people and much more physical and much more I mean I really get into it I mean I actually punch the air hey, nobody hits Mandy aside from the computers cheating all the time and the game being super short I mean I did finish one playthrough of story mode in under an hour with no game overs <laughs> humble brag about a game that no one plays anymore one of the biggest problems this game can have sometimes is the fact that you, you, you really have a hard time telling just what the hell is going on sometimes oh I ever Wanted was to be loved. Ha! Three, two, one, fight! What the fuck? Okay, see, this is what I'm saying. Look at all this crap. Look at what's going on. Pick a character and try and follow him. Just do it. There's so much crap happening on screen. <laughs> Screen shaking, there's lava everywhere, characters are getting launched, people have malice, that door keeps opening up, and there's freaking living sin coming out of it. Good God. I, I, I don't... I, <laughs> it's too much! Like, this is what it means to play this game. Your character gets launched all over the place. It's manageable, but man, it doesn't feel like you're in control. <laughs> 
There we go. There's control. Just beat him senseless. Keep checking on Mandy. There you go. It's a good presentation value. Like, there's a lot of thought that goes into each of the stages. That's nice. It's just the gameplay goes right back to insanity. Just... <laughs> God, it's so wild. Like, you don't get to stand still for longer than five seconds and I'm frozen. See? You do. <laughs> it's just chaos. It's an early bedtime today, punk. All of the audio literally just collided with each other. It's just... Oh, boy. Bye, Nurgle Jr. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's toasty. See, look at this. This is some cheap crap. Okay, the bone Player weapon can, like, super stun lock. So Nurgle does this a lot. Oh my god, he just threw Hostel Gato. Player two needs ham badly. See, we're just stun locked. Look, stun lock, stun lock. You anyway. And now he's getting raped. Ow. 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 Out my ass! Oh, that feels good. Actually, yeah, that's my review for this game. Out my ass, that feels good. 7 out of 10. It's the, oh, and there's the stays added. So see, you have to get out of here before it's too late or you take damage. And depth perception trolled me. And then this little guy hits me in the back and stops me and then I'm just locked out. And so for the next phase of battle, he enters the, on the door nice and safe. And I get thrown on the screen like a freaking discarded Skittle. And then he launches me again. Oh my god. Just, just kill him. Mm. Ooh, eat it! Take it, bitch! Beyond that, the game is fine. It's it's what you'd expect from a licensed Cartoon Network video game from that era. And in all fairness, it's kind of fun if you just go with the chaos. I know I played it a lot when I was in middle school, and let's be honest, any game that lets you play as Mandy in a clown suit while she punches people in the face is worth a place on your gaming shelf. C come on now, be for real. Also, Nurgle shits tentacles! And I don't know how I feel about that. Hentai finisher! I'm Cap the Ghostbutt, and I'll see you next time when I analyze why my mother abandoned me alongside a framed picture of David Bowie's chin. See you next time!